authority. It seems that shortly before 50,000 years ago, some small group of us acquired the ability to take two concepts and combine them to make a third concept without disturbing the original two concepts without limit. And from a perspective of an AI person like me, what Chomsky seems to be saying is we learned how to begin to describe things in a way that was intimately connected with language. And that, in the end, is what separates us from the chimpanzees. So you might say, well, let's just study language. No, you can't do that because we think with our eyes. So language does two things. Number one, it enables us to make descriptions. Descriptions enable us to tell stories. And storytelling and story understanding is what all of education is about. That's going up. And going down, it enables us to marshal the resources of our perceptual systems and even command our perceptual systems to imagine things we've never seen. So here's an example. Imagine running down the street with a full bucket of water. What happens? Well, your leg gets wet. The water sloshes out. You'll never find that fact anywhere on the web. You've probably never been told that that's what happens when you run down the street with a full bucket of water. But you easily imagine this, this scenario, and you know what's going to happen through this internal imagination simulation. We're never going to understand human intelligence until we can understand that. Here's another example. Imagine running down the street with a full bucket of nickels. What happens? You're, you're going, you know, nickels weigh a lot. You're going to be bent over. You're going to stagger. You know that. But nobody ever told you that. You won't find it anywhere on the web. So language is at the center of things because it enables storytelling going up and marshalling the resources of the perceptual apparatus going down. And that's where we're going to finish the subject this semester, but trying to understand more about that phenomenon.